Hello and welcome back. It's the Clay Golem once again. Uh, we're back in Foundry VTT version 12. Uh, in one of my testing worlds, we're going to look at a module. It's another Ripper one. It's called Image Context. So you can see what else I've got in here, just stuff I've been playing with. This has no requirement. You don't need any other modules. It's completely standalone. You could only have this in. It's called Image Context. Uh, some of the modules, they kind of give away what they're going to do just in the title. This one kind of doesn't. If we go to configure settings, we've got very little in the way of settings here. OK, um, we basically got whether we want a confirmation on or not. That's it. Really, really simple. So what the heck does this do? I will show you. So let me bring up my chat. Um, if I go to any place I've got images, like for example, if I use my tiles browser, which is going to, here we go, pops up, a little bit slow today, I've got in this instance some of my images from Curse of Strahd. Now of course in Curse of Strahd I had all the tiles with these different images on and they can fade in and fade out and I can drag these on and go, oh yes, you know, blah, 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 and I can delete, blah, 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 and, and then delete it when I'm done. I could do that, but that's rubbish, isn't it? That's not very good. <laughs> and I've got mine fading in out. But what this mod does, if I right click on any of these images, I can show. And from here, I can show the players. So the players are getting this and they can see that nice and big on their screen so that's kind of a good way to say oh yes you've encountered a particular monster a particular person uh, and we can just right click and show it to them but there's more options on here of course send to chat if I click this I'm getting the option to show it to all or I can whisper let's show it to all there we go it's in the chat so I can just say oh yes you're gonna meet this old man you know, blah, 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 you know, there he is. They can click on it and open it up further if they want to, but it's just dumping them directly into chat. And what you probably noticed is also when I send to chat, I can whisper it. Now, uh, how many other players have I actually got in here? None. I haven't got any other players logged in on this game. Um, but obviously when it comes up with a whisper, you can choose who you are whispering that to. So rather than all of the monks active tiles that I have used in Curse of Strahd, um, which work, I could use this instead. I could describe each of these scenes um, and just make sure I'm showing that to the players. Here's the scene, you know, duh, duh, duh. you know, you walk into the woods. Oops, don't want to send it to chat on this occasion. Uh, I can just show it there. So what th the reason I think this is really powerful is you can't prepare for everything. <laughs> you just can't. Um, and you may need to pull something out of your, your proverbial backside as a DM. Um, happens quite a lot. And you might just want to go, oh, yes, but do you remember this? And they go, oh, oh yeah, what was that thing? It's like, well, hang on, let me show you what that thing was. You know, there you go. It's that thing in chat. And, of course, you can do it with pictures of items. You can do it with anything that is an image. Um, you can slap it in there. You can do it with, uh, what else have I got in here? There we go. So I've got some of the rooms. Um, and again, so they got, oh, Riker, right, okay, that's what the dining room looks like. Fantastic. I can do it with this. This is the letter you guys find. I can just do it straight from here. So from a prep point of view, what I need to prep is putting my resources in the right folder so that they're easy to find. I don't have to go through, like I did with Curse of Strahd, and create all of these. Now, I like to play with those, and I like to create the templates, the um, the tile triggers and things like that. I enjoy that process. I think it's really good for learning ways that we can do things. Um, but obviously, we don't have to. This is just really quick and easy. Boom, there it is. My most pathetic servant. I feel, I feel seen. <laughs> Thanks, Strahd. Uh, yeah, so really quick and easy one. Really, uh, really powerful um, media tool, but very, very simple. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there is to show you. It's brilliant. Great. See ya.